Hey everybody, this is David from Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. I'm going to help you today with some Pro Tools tips on streamlining your workflow for your vocals. I'm going to teach you how to clean them up and how to do some quick comping. This is going to be a real quick video. So you may already know what you're doing. And if you don't, well, you're going to be a pro at the end of this video on how to clean up your vocals and use the takes that work best for your vocalist. We're listening to a track right here by Ian Vienu. He's a solo artist here in San Francisco, California. Very talented man. And does all the music composition himself. He came into the studio and did some vocal tracking. I'm going to show you how we worked on the vocals and how we tracked everything. So let's cut to the chase. Now I've got my tracks here as we finished them, but I'm gonna go back and show you from the first take here. So this is a tool that not a lot of people know how to use and they spend time chopping it up, you know, going here and breaking up their audio or highlighting in between here and trying to delete the space. Don't spend your time doing that. There's a quick way and an easy way to do this. Highlight the whole track. If you're on a Mac, it's Command U. That's going to bring up your strip silence, and you can see it automatically started separating the tracks and cutting up the space. So what's inside these white cubes is what is going to be left. What's outside the white cubes is going to be stripped away. But we have a few little spots here, so what I'm going to do is zoom in on some of these spots, like right here. I'm not quite sure what that is, but everything else is looking pretty good. So you can set how big the strip is. You can actually make them pretty small and you can also control the threshold. You can see moving this around allows you to strip out what you do or don't want. So there, I got rid of that little guy. Um, I don't really need a pad to start this and I don't really need an end pad. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Actually, I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit so I don't cut off some of the tails of his vocals. And there's a little blip right there that I probably don't need. Let's see if I can tighten this up a little bit more. Just scrub down your vocal track, see if it looks like everything's where it should be. And then you hit strip. And voila, there you go. It strips out all the audio that isn't necessary. So now when you play the track, you're not going to have any of this intro or space between. You're just going to have nice, clean vocals. Quickly, my love, come down. We're in the clear. And if it chops off too much, or it doesn't give you what you need, like we don't need this breath right here at the beginning, so I'm going to cut that out. Maybe I'll pull this out a little bit and give it a little fade at the beginning. Maybe I'll pull this out at the end and give this a little fade at the end. Hitting Command U will hide that window again. And if I wanted to do some universal fades on these, which is probably a good idea, highlight everything. Command F brings up your batch fade. And you can set this to whatever you want. I like these equal power fades. They're nice and short, 20 milliseconds. This is just gonna keep any of the little pops from happening. If I zoom in on one of these guys real quick, option F is your quick zoom. You can see it put a little teeny fade here and a little teeny fade at the end. And that's just to control the little digital pops that might happen if you chop an audio or waveform too close. So let's unsolo this and let's listen to the track again. Quickly, my love, come down. We're in the clear. Oh, I can see the sun for the first time. Now I'm going to show you what we do when you have a couple of takes. And the vocalist, and many of you know this, like to do a couple of takes and then listen to them. So instead of having to jump back and forth real fast, I'm going to show you how to use playlists. Now this is a feature that not a lot of engineers use, and I don't know why, because it's a very handy feature in Pro Tools. So I'm going to expand the vocal track here. Right where it says Waveform, click there and go up to playlists. And here's my other tracks that I've been working on for 
this artist. Uh, so I have the first take, and then as I make new takes, it labels them 0 0.1, 0 0.02, and I'll show you how to do that. So if we were going to do another take for this vocalist, click this little triangle next to your main uh, track name. Go to New. Name it whatever you want. In this case, I would want to name it exactly what it is, 0.03. It'll make a new track, and I can track here and record. And every time you do that, it's just going to keep banking these down and down and down. And then you can just hide them by going back to waveform. And then you can have a main track. So what I'm going to do is rename this. This is going to be my comp track. So we're going to take the best parts of all the takes that he did and put them into one track, and we're going to do that with the playlist look here. So he's got a couple of things here at the end that he didn't do on some of the other takes, so maybe we'll say, yeah, that's going to go up there. Oh, and if you don't want to move the file off the original take, let's move that back. Hold down the Option key as you click on it and drag it, and that just makes a copy. It leaves the original right where it is and puts a new copy right here. So I know that he liked take 1.02. So I'm going to take all this stuff and I'm going to option it up. And we're going to listen to this. Quickly my love come down we're in the clear. Now just to AB, I can hit these solo buttons at any time and it'll mute what's ever on this main track and solo just this track. But it's not going to solo the way you think it is. It's just going to solo one of these individual playlists. All the other audio tracks are going to play normally. Let me show you. Quickly, my love, come down. We're in the clear. Okay, so that's Vox 1 track. Let's listen to Vox 1.02. Quickly, my love, come down. We're in the clear. And let's listen to Vox 1.01 .01 and see what that sounds like. Quickly, my love. I remember this take. He tried to sing it in a little bit lower register, and we felt that it didn't sound quite right. That's why we did the other take. So you can just go through these and, you know, do the same thing with all your playlists here if you want. It's Command U. And the settings should have stayed the same. Dice it up, strip it. Command U and hide that. Now you have these takes. Now, of course, if I take any of these pieces and move them up, now, let me option it up. You're going to notice that it's going to keep the color of the original take. So when you look at your playlist, you'll have the color of that take. And then if you move different takes on here, it's going to keep those colors. That way you know which take it came from. Very handy feature in Pro Tools. And then you can consolidate everything at the end. So you can go through and do this piece by piece. I'm not going to show you too much more because I want to keep this video short. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, or you can reach us at shineonstudio.com. Again, this is David from Shine On Studio. I really appreciate you watching. Please like our page, follow us, subscribe, and we'll see you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching.
Give me one chance.